Alright YouTubers, today I'm going to be doing a Western Digital My Book unboxing. I already threw away the box and the warranty info, but those are some of the items that came with it and the quick start guide. The box was damaged badly. I got it from Walmart. Walmart has the hard drives on display. Like, they have these display hard drives. There's not really a hard drive in it, but it's just the external case for um, cosmetic purposes, I guess. So you know what you're buying and what, how it looks like. So they're sh showing the newer passport, but they're selling the older one. That's why I hate uh, our lower class Walmart. This isn't my Walmart. This is uh, original Walmart. My Walmart's much richer. It has a new logo and all that stuff. It has a... Uh, it's huge. My, new, my Walmart, it's a newer one too. So what comes with it is a power supply. Oh, yeah. A USB cable. And the MyBook itself. Alright. So I've had some experience with the Passport so far. I have one out connected to my computer right now. But I've had a couple uh, Passports. Let me just tell you. All these were manufactured on the same date. The newer one with a macro USB port, the one that's crappy and always comes off, is this one. And these two are right here. And I, 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 I don't know where the other one went. And I wouldn't connect it to my computer right now. Alright. Alright, so this is with the macro USB. It has aluminum. And on the on the stuff right here uh, this is a 500 gigabyte the info it ends with J A B B crap I don't have macro well it ends with J A B B it has that B B part it, I don't know what that stands for but everything's the same these two are manufactured on the same date these two right here. Same date. Same passport. This one's glass. This one's aluminum. That is unbelievable. Um, this one. Shit. It's this case. Ends with JBBB. It has that BBB. That's the aluminum one. The one that's with glass is, na has, is named... J H N B like it's D C M colon H A C T J H N B and it's glass and these are both manufactured on the same date both Western Digital Passport both in the same case both the, the this one has a block LED like the ones you see on camcorders for lighting and the little one this one's glass Mo manufactured on the same date it's really weird. Alright, back to my book. The whole point of this video. Alright. The box was dented so badly. So I can tell that buying something from Walmart, it may be cheap, but it, the, it, this probably doesn't even work. The box was damaged pretty bad. And so was the uh, insulation that was wrapping it. The black insulation, it's like a U-wrap. It's a U-wrap. I threw that away too. So the, it's holding on the side, on the top, and on this side. And it's like that, so you have, to, yeah. So you have to like flip it over for for my book to come out. Flip the box over, All right? How am I gonna do this? Alright, here you go. Here's a case. And there's some nice little fingerprint sticky nut finish stuff. Whatever you call it. But bopper. Did that on purpose. And this is really what it comes with. Besides the warranty info, quick startup guide, box, and three security tags. 
there are three security tags in the box, so just in case y'all stealers want to steal. And so the display one had a power button on here. Had a power button right here. So this is the older um my book. Keep on calling it a passport. Wonder why. Have one connected to my computer, and I gave about four to my friends. To one of my friends. Yes, I bought them all with my money that I work for. All right. That's why you wash your hands before you open anything. I already wash my hands with soap. So you don't get fingerprints stuck on it. Oh, that's nice. It's like a big passport. Or it's like a passport on steroids. The older passports. The newer passport has a much smaller case compared to the... This one's with the macro USB. This one's with the mini USB. See, there's a size difference. And those, both those are Western Digital. It's like a Western Digital on steroids. Yep. Let's see the other side. Man, that passport case was oily. Not that much pa fingerprint, so it's kind of sticky. Doesn't make that sound anymore, so. I'm pretty the first, pretty much the first one to do that with this passport, and it just comes with a DCN and a USB. No power button, no nothing, no LCD screen on the front, just a little indicator. All right, let me hook this up and see if it runs right. That's what I thought. I need to. Oh, I thought it spun up. It made a. Oh, it's on. There it goes. It turns off. Turned off. It's probably doing a self checkup. That's what I thought. You need something connected to do it. No problem. Wonder if a Duracell power supply will do the trick. Just connect this right here. And plug this into the my book with the mini USB port which rocks unlike the micro with the newer passports. And turn it on. That's what I thought it works. Slow spin up. I'm going to be opening this soon. Alright, let's see what it sounds like with the head parking. Oh, I forgot. It's connected to a power supply. No worries. Let's do that again. I'm gonna turn it on. Crap, it didn't stop all the way. Oh well. Shiny bitch. No firewire. Morse code coding. And I'm gonna unplug it, see what it sounds like. The head parking. Whoa, it's quiet. It's probably because the head already parked, because I took so long, but it takes a while to spin up. There you have it. 500 gigabyte Western Digital Pass my my book. I'm gonna turn unplug it. It was a slight click. It wasn't loud, but there you go have it. There we go. Ten minutes long.